Goodwill brings to you the market update dated February 3, 2023. For the development in the corporate segment, we have Tata Consumer Products Limited on Thursday reported a 25.63% increase in consolidated net profit at 364.43 rupees crore for the quarter ended December. The company had posted a net profit of 290.07 rupees crore for the October September period a year ago. The company's profit before tax at 482 rupees crore is 25% higher as compared to the corresponding quarter of the previous year, reflecting a strong growth in the domestic business partly offset by lower profits in the international business due to inflationary pressures and weakness in the currency. Its revenue from operations was up 8.29% to 3,474.55 rupees crore during the quarter under review as against 3,208.38 rupees crore in the corresponding period last year. Total expenses of the Tata Group's FMCG arm were 10.13% higher at 3,119.73 rupees crore over 2,832.68 rupees crore earlier. As many as three Adani Group companies, including Adani Enterprises, have come under short-term additional surveillance measure ASM, framework of the BSE and NSE, according to the latest data available with the exchanges on Thursday. Apart from Adani Enterprises, the other two firms listed by the exchanges are Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone and Unbuja Cements. The parameters for shortlisting securities under ASM include high-low variation, client concentration, number of price band hits, close-to-close -close price variation and price-earning ratio. The Hindujas three-year wait to increase their stake in the Indus a &D Bank has reportedly come to an end as the promoter of the bank, Indus a &D International Holdings Limited, is said to have received approval from the banking regulator. The regulator's approval is in accordance with the recently enacted Reserve Bank of India, Acquisition and Holding of Shares or Voting Rights in Banking Companies, Directions, 2023, which makes Indus a &D Bank the first banking company where the promoter has raised their shareholding to 26%. The Hindujas would thus consider investing Rs 8,000 to 10,000 crore to boost their share in the bank. According to reports, the promoters are currently pooling the necessary capital, and the procedure might be completed in a month or two. The wind power operation and maintenance service provider Inox Green Energy Services entered into a definitive investment agreement with IFOX Wind Technic India, an independent ONM wind service provider, to acquire 51% stake in IFOX at 35,947.71 rupees per share. Burger Paints has recorded a 20.5% year-on-year decline in consolidated profit at 200.94 rupees crore for quarter ended December financial year 2023 impacted by weak operating margin performance. Karnataka Bank in daily timeframe is trading around 149.2 points with a change of 8.3% and is trading with a net volume of around 2.495 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 142.45, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 53.66. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. Coil Aluminiums Limited in daily timeframe is trading at 247.65 points with a change of 7.1% and is trading with a net volume of 38.458 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 209.2. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 68.88. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via missed call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.